Hey guys, Dave here again with Mako Spear Guns, and today Dano is going to demonstrate the installation and use of the Mako Spear Guns Pulse Spear Resting Hook. As you know, the pulse spear band, when held in the loaded position, can be a bit painful and rather tiring for your hand while trying to maintain a tight grip. The Mako Pulse Spear Resting Hook eliminates the pain and hand fatigue by keeping your pulse spear band in the loaded position. Watch how easy it is for Dano to load the band and engage the resting hook. In addition to eliminating the pain associated with long periods of band holding, the pulse spear resting hook will make you more stealth-like by eliminating unnatural movements associated with loading your pulse spear band. You will never spook another fish again. With the resting hook engaged, you can swim around for as long as you want with no pain and no muscle fatigue. The pulse spear resting hook even allows you to change hands while the band is loaded, which is essential when hunting tight structures or when diving in current. If you can't get the shot with your right hand, you can switch and shoot with your left hand. When you have the shot, just pull back on the resting hook. In addition to being the most comfortable resting hook on the market, the pulse spear resting hook requires no tools to install it on your pulse spear band and no tools to remove it. To install the resting hook, simply stretch the band, install the hook onto the band, and slide the latex keeper over the gap to keep it in place while the band is in the stretched position. It's that easy. To install the cord, simply load the band and mark where the resting hook lands. Then tie a loop on one end of the cordage and tie the other end to your pulse spear shaft so the loop is positioned at your mark. Once the cord is tied, install the o-ring that holds the cord in place and you are done. When the cord is installed, it too can be removed and reinstalled as needed by removing the pole spear shaft. Let's see that again, but this time we'll install the pole spear resting hook with an optional Mako pole spear band that's specifically made for attaching to a float line. Notice the float line attachment point is strategically positioned at the back of Dano's hand so it's out of the way. When hunting with a float line attached to the pole spear, Dano likes to use the low profile Mako pole spear float. The pole spear float does not stop large running fish but it will help you find your pole spear if it's dropped or if the fish holds up. Whether you have a regular band or a band made for a float line attachment, stretch the band to install your pole spear resting hook and slide it to the middle. Now slide the latex rubber keeper over the gap to keep it on the band while the band is stretched. Now, Dana will reinstall the loop of Dyneema that he made earlier. Then he will reinstall the o-ring and run the cord under it to keep it tight to the pole spear. Now, with the resting hook reinstalled, we'll have a look at the complete rigging that consists of the resting hook and Dyneema loop, float line, and float. Thanks guys for taking time to watch this video. At Mako Spear Guns, we use the exact same factories as the more expensive brands, and we ensure the same high quality. But because we sell direct to you instead of through dive shops, our prices are much less. Same factories, same high quality, no dive shop markup. Thanks for your support. Dive safe.